one day after Spider-Man Day, Sony's released their new Spider-Man Universe trailer. Yay! Oh, it's, it's Venom. Terrence here with Hollywood Already Did. If you haven't already, go ahead, like, share, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell below. Anytime we have something, you will be among the first to know. I think if you've seen the, my reaction to the teaser and how I've talked about Venom on the podcast and all that stuff, this is not a movie that's for me. Uh, I did not like the first one. I do not care about this one. The only reason that I'm watching it and we're doing this trailer reaction and I'll actually have to go see the film in the theaters because I do this. Otherwise, this would be a movie that would be completely off my radar because I have no desire. But there's an audience for this. It's made like $800 million in the theater. It's sort of that Transformers audience where it's like, hey, just feed it to me. I don't care. It looks like something that I'm sort of resembling of what I got in the comics, so I'll take it. I think we live in a world now where the comic properties are being treated with a little bit more care and a little bit more um, tact and, <laughs> and intelligence. So... I don't always need to play to the lowest common denominator, but uh, there's an audience for this. So let's see what we got with this new trailer and uh, see you on the other side, which is luck. We'll start it up now. All I ever wanted in this world is carnage. It's crazy because I typically like Woody Harrelson. I think he would be amazing if anything not in this world. Why me? What's mine? It's yours. And what's yours? It's mine. I have tasted blood before, and that is not it. So he gets it by biting him. Okay. My big problem with the first one was that the final battle took place in darkness. And you couldn't make out the brown and red. I mean, brown and black. It doesn't look like there's much change here. Sheldon to coming back for this. <laughs> um, there must have been a two, two, uh, two film contract she had to do for this. She's actually everybody in this film is much better than this movie. Um, sure. Again, I, I I wouldn't see this. This is doesn't this doesn't do anything for me at all. I wouldn't see this film uh, if it weren't for doing this and having to talk about it probably on the podcast as well. Um, we had a different director, but it, does, it looks like we're still doing some of the old hat, same tricks of the previous. Uh, I like Woody, uh, but this one just isn't doing it for me. Just based on the way that things are going and how they seem to be pointing all directions towards Venom, I'm starting to believe that we won't get that Spider-Man trailer until the week of 
Venom's released, and they're going to put it in the theaters with that to sort of boost up the number of Venom, because I don't, nothing about anything that I've seen says that I need to go see this, but I think that caveat will sort of be like, oh, then I'll go watch this, or if, even if they put like a five-minute scene of whatever Spider-Man in front of it, I think that's going to help, because nothing that I've seen so far has been uh, exciting to me. Or different of enough, like between the Suicide Squad and the Suicide Squad that we got from David Ayer, there's a big enough of difference in those trailers. Like, like, okay, this is something different. This doesn't feel like it's that much different. So if you did enjoy that first one, I don't see you enjoying this one. And but if you did, kudos to you. What did you guys think about the trailer? Go ahead, leave your thoughts and comments in the comments below. If you haven't already, you can follow us on Twitter at Hollywood ADI. You can hit us up on email at HollywoodAlreadyDidIt at gmail.com. We also have a podcast by the same name. That's on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and here on YouTube and anywhere else that, play, that plays podcasts. Uh, this week we have talked about Jungle Cruise and the pretty extensive line of films that have been made off of Disneyland rides, which is just bizarre. But uh, like always... I got my ticket. You got yours.